The race for the next Pickens County Sheriff is on. A crowded Republican primary with five candidates making their case to voters. It's a race we're watching closely here at Fox Carolina News ahead of the June 11th primary. And one of the candidates running for Pickens County Sheriff is Damon Hubbard. So, Mr. Hubbard, thank you so much for taking some time with us. We like to start these interviews with each candidate the same way. So what motivated you to run and why now for Pickens County Sheriff? I raised my family in Pickens County, but I've always worked in Greenville County. I worked for Greenville County Sheriff's Office for 29 years, and I decided uh, it was time for me to provide services in Pickens County. Uh, raising my family in Pickens County and seeing what's coming our way as far as the population growth, the crime rate, and everything that's going on, uh, not only in our county but in our country uh, today, I just feel like it's important for me to step up and do everything that I can do, uh, utilizing my experience and my background uh, that I've gained over the last 29 years to do what I can do to, uh, you know, uh, reduce the crime and make our community safer. You talk about the experience, the 29 years there with the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. What did you do in those 29 years? What were some of the responsibilities that you had that could help pave the way for you being sheriff? Uh, I was promoted through the ranks up to major over operations. Uh, that was the last position I held before I left last year to run my campaign. Uh, one of the positions I held was sergeant over school enforcement. So I know all about doing risk assessments and putting uh, layers of protection in schools to make the schools safer for our children to have a safe learning environment. So I think that's important. And then the other position that I held was I was the emergency management director for five years. And during that time, I learned how to handle natural disasters. I actually went through two tornadoes. I had one in Simpsonville and one at Lake Lanier, uh, several hazmat spills. Uh, plane crashes, active shooter, I actually responded to active shooter. Uh, I went to the Townville uh, incident when that took place. I was actually in Anderson in a meeting and was able to respond to that. So I've got a broad uh, experience in law enforcement just across the board. I think I've got a, I, I not think, I know I've got a lot of experience across the board that will pay off uh, in the long run if I'm elected. I've just got a, a, a wealth of knowledge and uh, pretty much been there, done that on about at about every level you can think of. You've mentioned the response, national uh, natural disasters. You've mentioned mm -hmm. the response and the resources that you've had in mm -hmm. the schools. One of the big topics across the country is the rise in fentanyl overdoses. Mm -hmm. So, as sheriff, what can you do to not only combat drug crimes but also address overdoses in Pickens County? Uh, I do have a goal in mind as far as uh, forming a drug enforcement unit that will bring in all the law enforcement agencies within Pickens County. We'll all work together and we'll all share information, gather information, we'll work together. And in doing that, we will be able to, um, you know, mitigate and eliminate crime and crime-related activity mm -hmm. is my goal uh, to form that unit. Okay, uh, on your campaign website, you say you want to better uh, manage uh, and have better management of resources and plan to restructure the sheriff's office to allow mm -hmm. for more patrolling deputies. Mm -hmm. So what would you do, uh, how would you do that, and why do you think more deputies on patrol is better as a whole for the county? The more deputies you have on the road, the more out there moving around the county, the better you off. That will help deter crime, and they can detect crime while they're out, while they're out there moving around the county. And the way I want to do that, I can get manpower out on the street immediately. I will have guys that uh, will come out of the office that maybe haven't been on the road for a while. I'll put them on the road, put them in shifts. Uh, they'll still be responsible for their uh, other duties and responsibilities, but we'll put them out there a few hours a day to let them roll around with the guys in uniform patrol. And it will serve a lot of purposes. One is it'll get them familiar with what's going on on the streets today. Uh, especially a guy I've been off the road for five years. You put him out there and let him roll around with the guys and uh, figure out what's going on today. Maybe it'll help him in his investigations. Uh, so that's one thing that we can do to get more manpower on the street immediately without uh, impacting taxpayers, without increasing taxes. Uh, but that's something we will have to look at eventually because, like I said earlier, with the growth, uh, the population growth, it's not slowing down. Sure. Uh, Pickens County has grown 12 to 14 percent over the last 10 or 12 years and so if you add another 12 or 14 percent to it over the next 10 years uh, the growth rate is going to be uh, you know pretty much off chart. I mean we're, the more population the more crime. 
I mean, that's just uh, inherent with the population growth. You mentioned the more crime, the more population, mm -hmm. uh, vice versa, in, in regards of the crime rate. But SLED has pointed out that in Pickens County, it saw the third lowest violent crime rate of any county in the state and saw the second greatest drop in property crime in 2022. So mm -hmm. how do you maintain that progress that's been happening in Pickens County, according to SLED, mm -hmm. while also addressing that this growth in the upstate mm -hmm. uh, may be playing a factor into the crime rate? You just stay on top of it. Like I said, just put more manpower out there, okay. being aggressive, and getting these guys in the right areas. You know, the areas that are the uh, highest crime areas, you'd want to target those areas uh, to put more manpower in, let them roll around the area, and do what they can do to detect and deter, deter the crime, and make the arrests when they can. Uh, so I, I th really think it's important that we stay ahead of the game mm -hmm. and instead of trying to catch up once the crime starts you know, picking back up again, which it can happen any day. Uh, once, once that happens, then you got to catch up. I'd rather stay ahead of it and put guys out there now to prevent crimes from happening to begin with. Real quick, what does day one in office look like for you as Pickens County Sheriff? Day one, I'll have to go in and meet the whole the staff. You know, mm -hmm. I want to meet my command staff because I, I'm not, I don't never work there, so I don't know many of the guys over there. I know a few, and there are a lot of good people over there, the ones that I do know. Uh, but meet all the folks in the agency, get familiar with them, and uh, you know, let them know what my goals and my plans are, and also see what their plans are. What they, what you know, what do they want for Pickens County Sheriff's Office? Okay, Damon Hubbard, candidate for Pickens County Sheriff. Thank you so much. Thank you.